Congratulations on purchasing your Rambo bike. Here are a few things you should know before going on your first ride. Let's start off with the battery. You can check the battery life by hitting the button on the top side. If fully charged, you will see four green bars. Once the battery is installed, we can power up the bike on the LCD display. To do this, press and hold the power button until the display turns on. Using the plus and minus buttons, you can adjust the power assist levels on your Rambo bike by tapping them quickly. Tapping the plus button will add more power assist, and tapping the minus button will lower the power assist. You have up to five power modes, five being the highest. The I button will change the display modes. If you're riding your bike and you come to a complete stop, the power assist level will return back to zero after 10 seconds. In pedal assist modes one through five, you can use the throttle on the handlebars to propel you along. This can be mounted on the right or left side depending on your preference. On the left side of the handlebars will be your shifter. This bike has 11 gears, with 11th being the highest gear and first being the lowest gear. Low gears are good for climbing hills, and the high gears are good for higher speeds. To shift gears in your bike, roll a grip shifter until you hear an audible click while pedaling lightly. If you're pedaling too fast and there isn't enough resistance, shift into a higher gear by rolling the grip shifter forwards. And if you're pedaling too slow, shift into a lower gear by rolling the grip shifter backwards. For adjusting your seat post, keep in mind there is a minimum insertion length of four inches. You should adjust the seat post height so your knee is almost locked out at the bottom of the turn. To do this, you can sit on your bike while stationary and pedal backwards. To maximize comfort when riding, you want to adjust your handlebars in a way that feels most natural and practical. This may require adjustment of the handlebars using a four millimeter Allen wrench. Ideally, you want your wrists to be straight when touching the brakes not too high or too low, and your elbows should be slightly bent. Before riding your bike, you should check the tire pressure and may need to add more air. Ideal riding air pressures can vary depending on the terrain, but 17 to 35 PSI is ideal. Now let's do the brake burn-in procedure. In a controlled and clean environment, preferably on pavement, get the bike up to a good speed, around eight to 10 miles per hour. Firmly and evenly apply the front brake until the bike comes to almost a complete stop. Repeat this process 20 times for the front brake, and then repeat this process 20 times for the rear brake. This must be done separately to ensure a good brake burning. Now let's talk about battery maintenance. It is good practice to charge your battery up after each ride, especially if you're riding relatively soon, but do not leave it on the charger for more than eight hours. If you're storing the bike for a few months, a 70 to 80% charge is ideal. Storage long or short term should be done in a dry space between 45 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything above or below is considered extreme and not healthy for battery chemistry. Also, when transporting the bike outside your vehicle, do not leave the battery on the bike. Now that you're familiar with your bike, take it for a first ride and enjoy. 